Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3, the FES version. And I haven't played in a while, so we've got to go check and make sure we're all caught up on Elizabeth stuff because the next real thing we're going to do here is... Uh, the boss at the full moon, which apparently is on the 5th. So, 10 days from now. But still, I mean, we could go to Tartarus and stuff and level up and things. But I think we're good that way. So let's go check our requests and make sure. Whoops. Retrieve one silver medal from the fourth block of Tartarus. Uh, yeah, I think we can do that the next time we come in. Except that one anyway. So, uh, let's go to Dunn. Fuse Personas, just to remind you which ones we have. Here they are. All right, it's time to go talk to the devil. Oh, it's you, Vertigo. Are you free at the moment? If so, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. It seems President Tanaka wants to talk to you. Since you have Incubus, a person of the devil arcana, you should get along well with President Tanaka. Would you like to talk to President Tanaka tonight? Talk to him. My, you're enthusiastic. The other day, a woman came to my office asking for a donation. She was the kind of girl that mean men dream of. Drop dead gorgeous. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Uh... Are you going to donate? Of course not! I hate the very word! And President Tanaka seems offended. <laughs> Why should I give my hard-earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself up out of squalor to get where I am today. In fact, I've earned the right to laugh at those who used to laugh at me. That's what I'd always dreamt of, but to tell you the truth, now I have too much money. Profits are booming, but I'm so busy I don't have time to spend a dime. Maybe I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business philosophy and help them master my management techniques. I could create a carbon copy of me. It would probably cost me a fortune, but if it works, then I could sit back and relax in my massage chair. How about it? Want to become my successor? I'll even let you join the Tanaka family. Just kidding. People would think I'm a weirdo if, if I adopted a boy as old as you. Despite his odd sense of humor, you sense President Tanaka's strong feelings towards you. feel like you understand him a little better now. Boom. Devil level 9. Donate for the sake of the less unfortunate, eh? Wait, for the sake of the less unfortunate? No, for the sake of the more unfortunate. Alright, so we tanaka the heck out of that Tanaka social link. Tuesday? Well, what's going on on Sunday? Oh, it's Kenji. Uh, 
Never have time for Kenji. I don't even have to check my social calendar to see if I'm spending time with Kenji on a Sunday. Alright, and we are in the middle of a film festival. Okay, summer vacation will be over soon. The film festival is nearly over, too. Maybe you should see if any of your dorm mates are interested in going. Okay, so... There is a dorm mate interested in going. This, by the way, is my favorite one. And keep in mind, you could go, you could still, like, there's so many social links you could do. You could clear out the moon social link during this film festival and stuff. I mean, if you just decided to not go. Alright. Kodomaru-san has an intense desire to go somewhere. Furthermore, it appears that he does, if he does not go today, he will not be able to go at all. Please listen to Kodomaru-san's request, Furthermore-san. Arf. Will you accept Koromaro's invitation? Uh, yes! Arf! Koromaro-san is very happy. I, in turn, am happy for Koromaro-san. Alright. So, yes. Koromaro wants to go to the movies. Port Island Station Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme every day. Today, they're showing the, l the last episodes of the popular seri serial True Battles of Real Men. <laughs> Arf. <laughs> like, wine. Arf, arf. Koromaru can't wait any longer. You enter the movie theater with Koromaru. You insisted that Koromaru was just a realistic doll, but the management kicked you out of the theater. <laughs> My courage has increased. Arr! <laughs> Koromaru seems disappointed. Wine. There, I did it. I, I, I dog whined. Koromaro seems sad. You promised Koromaro to buy the DVD for him when it's released. Koromaro seems very happy. After walking Koromaro, you decided to go back to the dorm. That's it! That's the day. There's the thing. That's the thing we did. Right there. That's that's a movie with your dog. So Where good. Where have I been? Well, let me tell you. First, I took our new dog pal, and I snuck him into a movie theater. And then, the management came over and said, Excuse me, sir, you can't have dogs in here. And I said, No, it's, 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 it's not a dog. It's a very realistic doll, because this is Japan. And they build those. And the guy said, I don't believe you. I think that's a dog. And I said, if it was a dog, could it do this? And then Karamaru proceeded to act like a dog, and we were busted. So they kicked me out. But I feel more courageous now. Does that answer your question, Akiko? Or should I have just said, none of your business, you don't really care anyway? It's hard to train when it's hot, but it's easier to stay loose. Wait, oh, yeah. So if you're going to Tartus, count me in. No, I'm going to go take a quiz. We have all kinds of, I mean, we, like, next is, like, we, we do June play, pay, and then I guess, and then Fuka, and Mitsuru, and, and then finally Ken. Ken's the last guy we go to a movie with. We still need two more academic upgrades, but we don't need them until, like, October. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure... Okay, so it's Wednesday, so the 27th is Tuesday. Or Thursday, the 28th is Friday. The 29th is... So the, th the 30th? Nope, I'm, I I'm hanging out with Mitsuru that day. Sorry, I'm busy. So we sleep earlier because we were fatigued by our subjects from yesterday. Right. We got it. We got it. This is going great. Move with Junpei tomorrow. Yikes! All right. <laughs> Summer vacation will be over soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you should see if any of your dorm mates are interested in going. Yeah, or you could go hang out at the mall with, like, the moon social link. Again, you could clean up his entire social link during this festival. And I'm not telling you not to do that. I, I think it's a great idea. Like, it's a super good idea. If you did that during, instead of going to this dumb festival, uh, you could comfortably finish all the social links uh, probably probably a week earlier or two weeks earlier than I do. If you skipped all the optional stuff, you could easily... Uh, you might be able to leave an entire month of play free for yourself. Junbei, you gotta go talk to Junbei. Yo, hi, hi, hi! I gotta hurry, or I'll miss the trailers. I gotta eat first, or I'll fade out the way over. Oh, hey, Vertical, I'm thinking of catching some flicks. Wanna come along? Right up to his choice, man. Would you like to go to the film festival? Indeed. Sweet. <laughs> Give me a minute to finish eating. I want him to say sweet ridiculous. Theater's crowded because of yeah, the new theme every day. They're showing American action movies. Dude, this is seriously nonstop. It's kind of weird to see a movie with another guy, but I'm getting pumped all the same. Let's go. Oh, don't, don't let me forget the popcorn with extra butter. I hope that they play um, Arnold, like Commando, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, because Commando by Arnold Schwarzenegger has what, in my opinion, is the the best bad guy, um, like kill line in any action movie ever, where Arnold Schwarzenegger takes the pipe and like throws it straight through like the bad guy, and he's like, "Hey Bennett, let off some steam." <laughs> so good. <laughs> Okay, you watched American Heroes saving innocents from the evil empires. You learned to fight for justice. Your charm has increased. Dude! Why couldn't I have been born in the USA? By now, I'd, I'd have been all... Saving the babes! <laughs> fight for my country! And everyone would be like... Woo, Jupe! <laughs> oh my god! Of all the most ridiculous dialogue. Man, why'd I have to be born in Japan? Seriously, dude. Seriously, dude, there's a ton of young people in the USA say the same thing about you, man. You decided to go back to the dorm with Junpei. Okay, so normally Thursday would be a tower day, but we can walk the dog today and we're going to. Right? Indeed. Karamaro is looking at you pleadingly. He seems to want to go for a walk. Junpei can go with you tonight. Alright. You'll find a lot of that in the film festival, where the person you went to the movies with can go on a walk with you. It's like a nice day to spend with your, your mate. Like, Yo, Karamaro, your tail's gonna fall off if you wag it too much. So wear yourself out, okay? Man, the movies today were great, huh? A guy watches something like that, he feels like he can take out of the world. The coolest part was how the heroine understood the main dude by the end. Even being a super badass would suck if no one knew about it. I spoke with Junbei for a while. Yeah. Junbei is... Hey, there he is! He looks hungry. Do I want to go back? Uh, yeah, Junbei's psychology is pretty, 
pretty cardboard about, you know, the fact that, you know, he doesn't mind doing what he does. Like, he likes fighting monsters. He just hates the fact that nobody knows he does it. Bye, Kenji. Really? Uh, sorry, Kaz. Oh, really? All right, listen. Okay, bye, bye, Kaz. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right, from okay, from smart to intelligent. Or intelligente. <laughs> or intelligent. <laughs> Those are the only three languages I know how to say it in. <laughs> uh, cause I am not uh muy intelligente or très intelligent. <laughs> or very smart. How about that? Let's go with those, all three of those. Alright, uh maybe you should see if any of your doormates are interested in going. There is one, of course, of course. We only have uh, the the thirty first is the last day of this thing. Knock knock. It's me. It's you. <laughs> I apologize for the interruption, but do you have a moment? For you, Mitsuru, always. I have every moment of my entire rest of my life. Good morning. The chairman will be here tonight. We'll meet on the fourth floor as usual. That's all. That's all. I think I know what's going to happen tonight. Well, that explains why I don't have a walk scheduled tonight. Because I have a walk scheduled for four nights in a row, excluding this one. Well, three nights in a row, excluding this one. But if this, if there had been a walk tonight, we would have yeah four. Yeah. Oh, right, I've got to go see if somebody wants to go to the movies. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I standing at my doorway? Alright. There's a meeting tonight. I will relax until then. Do you have any suggestions on how to relax, Vertical Sun? I guess doesn't seem to be busy. Would you like to invite, I guess, to the film festival? Yes! The movies. I see. So going out is considered to be relaxing too. Then let us go and relax. Alright. Perfect. Alright. Theater's crowded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today they're showing ninja movies! <laughs> Ninja War. Does this refer to opposing platoons of ninjas on the screen? According to Junpei-san, ninjas are the coolest of the cool. <laughs> you saw the history of ninjas and learned about their mind-bending fighting techniques. And my academics has increased. I have updated my information on ninjas. Ninja is the ultimate status that a man can achieve. In combat, the power of their body is equivalent, is equivalent that of highly advanced special weapons. They were war machines with unparalleled fighting skill. Given these facts, I am curious as to why their existence has ceased. The answer is politics, by the way. Was it an ice age? Perhaps the prolification of the internet? An enigma I may never resolve. Thank you very much for today. I shall call you Vertical Ninja from now on. <laughs> that was a humorous joke. <laughs> okay, I've got to uh, feminine up her voice a bit. Because we do have a social link with her way later in the game. And it's actually, I, I think it's my favorite. Good, you're all here. Please, come in. Sorry to interrupt. You must be kidding. After running several tests, we've learned that he has more than adequate potential. I called this meeting so that I could introduce him, since he'll be joining our squad. 
But, but Mr. Chairman, he's still in elementary school. Besides... Besides what? His ability is quite promising. With the proper training, he could be a big help. But is he okay with it? Actually, I asked to join. I believe I can be of some assistance. Now, I finally know why I was given this power. I love Ken's voice, by the way. I, Ken's voice is awesome. Like, the voice actor for Ken is amazing. Like, it, it just... It, don't get me wrong, he doesn't exactly sound like a little kid. But there's just something perfect about his voice. So, as you can see, it was his own decision. Nice to meet you all. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, don't worry, kid. We got your back. It may be hard at times, but stick with it. Yes, got it. Uh, uh, I guess, too, the person who did the, the voice for that really made it made her subtly computery. Um, but still very feminine, and that's gotta be hard. I mean, it's very easy to be like, I am a robot, do what I say, but to make a robot sound like a girl or a guy, that's, and still sound kind of, she's very subtly electronic in her voice, and I like that as well. Now, when we come back, uh, it's the, it's a Friday, which means, uh, Tower Social Link, so I'll see you guys for that. Bye, everybody. <laughs>